beautiful friends and book lovers. I hope that you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Heather and here at Heather's Book Review, as you can take a quick peek behind me, I love to read mysteries and thrillers and review them here on my channel. If you're new here, I would love if you could hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new bookish related video. And today's video is kind of a combination of two ideas that I had in my head. And then I was like, you know what? I feel like I can just mesh them together in one video. So the first part of the video is just talking about my, um, like how my reading goals went for 2022. And then I want to talk about my current 2023 TBR. Okay. So my biggest, what I consider my biggest reading goal for 2022 was I actually vowed to read the book of the month thriller choice for that month, every month. If you don't know what book of the month is, it is an amazing book buying subscription. All of these books with this little square up here, and there's actually more up there. And as you can see some back there that this is my TBR shelf that I'm going to be showing off in a little bit. Um, but anyways, it's a book buying subscription for $14.99 a month. You get to choose one of these hardcover books and hardcovers typically retail anywhere from like 25 to like sometimes $35. So I feel like it's a really reasonably priced subscription. I have my referral link in the description box below. If you're interested, if you go through my link, I get a free book, which is sweet. And you get your first box for five bucks, which is also really sweet. And then I don't want to forget to mention that you can choose up to two more books for only $10. So sometimes like this past month, did I order three this past month? No, I ordered two, but there are a lot of months where I will order three and then I'm getting three hardcover books for like $35, which is really like oh, a little bit more than the price of like one on average if I were to buy it elsewhere. So that's why I love the subscription. I'm not sponsored by them. I just have all these books because I've been a member for such a long time. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's great. And like I said, I put my referral link description box below if you wanted to join a new uh, subscription for 2023. So anyways, a big goal that I kind of set for myself last year was reading the thriller for the month from book of the month. And I actually ended up doing that. I read every single thriller except the December one, which I haven't gotten to but it is on my shelf. Like I did buy it. I do own it. I just haven't had the time to read it yet. I don't know if I'm going to do this again. I did post a poll here on YouTube just a couple hours ago asking if you guys think that I should do that again for 2023. But I will say, um, while I love book of the month, something that I'm not quite a fan of is that you have to choose one of the month selections each time. For example, there was a month where like there wasn't a thriller, I believe, like there was like a mystery, but I was like, I vowed to read the thriller, so I didn't choose it. And, but I, there were add-ons that I wanted to get for $10, like I was telling you guys. So I was like, okay, like I don't want to miss out on the add-ons because I had seen a bunch of people read those books. And then I was like, okay, well, I want to get them now too from book of the month because it was a choice. But in order to do that, you have to choose one of their like, either member faves or like the books that they're promoting for that month. And I basically own most of the member faves already, or I just have zero interest in reading them. So I did find that with this goal, I was like buying a lot more books than I felt like I needed to. Like, for example, I would have chosen a member fave that was maybe like a fantasy and I'm not the biggest fantasy reader to begin with. So like a couple of those are sitting on my shelves right now, but in order to get like the add on or um, just another book, like I had to choose that. So part of me like doesn't want to necessarily do this same goal again because it was a little stressful. Like I... I don't know how some people have like TBR shelves with hundreds of book books on them. If you do, kudos to you. I am, I literally get stressed out. Like this TBR shelf here of just like physical copies is so stressful for me because I like, I want the books on my shelves to be books that I've already read. I'm just particular that way, okay? I'm just particular that way. But anyways, my goal is to like clear this shelf, but... For like, hold on, wait, what was the January pick? Oh, the January pick um, is what I think what lies in the woods, I want to say. And I've been given, wait, I did write it down. Hold on. 
Yes, okay, What Lies in the Woods, but I actually have the audio book of this courtesy of Macmillan Publishing. Thank you, Macmillan. Um, so I was like, okay, I already have the book, so I'm not gonna buy it from Book of the Month, but there was another book that I wanted from Book of the Month, so then I ended up choosing an add-on or like a member fave or something. I don't know. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm all over the place. I sh it would have been so easy if I just pulled it up here. Um, I ended up choosing their historical fiction. Hold on. I do have it pulled up. Queen of Thieves. I will put a still for that here. So that is currently on my TBR, Queen of Thieves by BZ Marsh. Um, and then I ended up choosing The Wife Between Us um, by Greer Hendricks. And I believe Sarah Pekinen. I think that's one of their duo books. Um, and then another, another thriller. Hold on. It's like got a gorgeous purple cover. I'm going to go ahead and just put it up here and you've already seen it, but that is the lies we told by Camilla way. So I wanted that book first and foremost, the beautiful purple, gorgeous cover. But then I was like, you know what? I'll read the wife between us. That one like is a thriller that I've always wanted to read. It's just kind of been there in the back of my mind, but I just have never gotten to it. And then Queen of Thieves was the book that like I felt like I had to choose uh, in order to get those two add-ons, if that makes sense. But anyways, that is starting off with my first three books on my current TBR. Actually, fourth book, because I'm including What Lies in the Woods, which I told you guys is on audio. So those are my first four books that I have. Um, but before I get into the rest of them, I did just want to talk about like my other reading goal that I had for 2022. Um, on Goodreads, I will link my Goodreads profile in the description below. Actually, it's linked in every video of mine um, in the description box. But I set a goal for 40 books for myself and I read, I think, a little over 50 so I was actually really impressed because throughout all of last year and the year before that, I was going through grad school. I recently just graduated yay, in December. So I finally, I'm going to have a little bit more time this year, um, but we also do have a toddler. So a lot of my free time, um, I don't have much free time. Let's just go with that. But I did go ahead and set my 2023 Goodreads reading goal for 50 books. So if you want to follow along with that journey, um, just uh, add me as a friend through the link below. Um, and a goal that I have for myself for 2023 is to be better at like updating my reading journey on Goodreads. Goodreads kind of always just like takes a backseat for me. Like I focus a lot on Bookstagram and then obviously YouTube gets like the most of my time and energy and work. Um, but with Goodreads, like even if I just updated it like once a month or something, because I was adding like all the books one day towards the end of 2022 that I had read because I just was not great about updating it. I will say, I feel like the app is like super frustrating to use. So when I do update it, I go through the computer. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But anyways, that is a current goal of mine is to just update Goodreads more frequently in 2023. Some other books I have on my TBR, and I do just wanna say, this is just like the current TBR that I have, like not all the books obviously that I'm planning to read in 2023, but just books that are on like the near, hopefully near horizon for me. What Have We Done by Alex Finlay. This is courtesy of Minotaur Publishing. Thank you, Minotaur. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. There are a couple point of views. Um, but it's really centering around like these kids who grew up in this like awful home together when they were younger and like now their adult lives have spread out and stuff is happening and it's almost like someone trying to get revenge on all of the characters. So that is very intriguing. And then after I finish uh, What Lies in the Woods, I am going to be listening to The Black House, which is written by Carol Johnson. And this is courtesy of Simon & Schuster Audio. Thank you, Simon & Schuster. This is the same author who, who wrote uh, Mirrorland, which I've actually never read before, but I've heard really great things about it. So this sounds like it's a secluded, it kind of sounds like a similar setting to like Daisy Darker, like a secluded island kind of vibe, I think. Yes, I'm right. I just looked it up on Goodreads. It says a remote village, a deadly secret, an outsider who knows the truth. So not so much like Daisy Darker with like the house on the cliff, but a remote village. 
So I'm really excited to listen to that one. So those are my first six books on my TBR. And I'm not really reading these like next ones in any particular order. Um, but oh my gosh, like I said, there are so many, like this shelf is stressing me out. This book I could see sitting on my shelf for quite some time. One of my best friends that I've made through bookstagram gifted me this Kristen Hanna novel, The Great Alone, which I know, I know, I know is supposed to be really good. I've only read one other Kristen Hanna book in my life. And that was The Four Winds, which is up here somewhere. There it is um from book of the month and that was like so heartbreaking but I feel like apparently all of her books are supposed to be very heartbreaking um this book is also about 550 pages long so I'm gonna save this one for when I'm like I just want to delve into like an emotional read that's going to take me some time you know when I need a break from like thrillers I can definitely see myself picking up this one also I think it would be fun if you guys let me know your favorite Kristen Hanna novel if you've ever read any of her books in the comments below that would be amazing I know that this is a very like hyped up one of her books this next book has definitely been featured in my TBRs before but I'm actually reading it for a book club with some of my absolute best friends. Um, and it is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I know that this is, I don't know if it's a trilogy or a series, but one of my friends has already read it. We said that we were going to read this like months ago and then we all forgot, but one of our friends and she was like, uh, hello, is anybody else reading the book club book? So I'm actually seeing these friends, uh, in February. So I will be reading this before February because I texted them today and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get on it. Don't worry. But this is a fantasy novel. It says fall in love and break the curse, break the curse, save the kingdom. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm excited. I love just getting into like a new fantasy. I cannot wait for the next A Court of Thorns and Roses book. Like I cannot wait so this will be a nice to, like I said, have a little bit of a break from some thrillers and like throw a fantasy in there. This next book I won um, in a giveaway from, again, one of a uh, really great friends of mine from Bookstagram, and that is Casey McQuiston's uh, One Last Stop. This just looks like a super cute little romance novel. Um, wait, let's see from the author who wrote red white and royal blue which i've actually never read but i've heard really great things about it so it looks just like a super cute little romance uh but again i don't know this might be a february read for me just like around valentine's day something cute but not something that i'm like jumping to right now this may be shocking but i've actually never read a louise penny novel before and this is called still life I just, I can't believe it. Like, I know she's a really, really well-known author. I've just never read one of her books before. Um, but a coworker of mine gifted me this book when I was on my maternity leave. So over like a year and a half ago. Wait, this is so cute. She must have bought this book from this bookstore, The Book Table in Chicago. Well, Oak Park. Fiercely independent since 2003. So yeah, that's super cute. This coworker knew that I, she doesn't work with us anymore because she retired, but she knew that I loved like just thrillers and mysteries. So she said that this author is amazing. So this is also a thriller on my TBR. Oh my gosh, another fantasy novel. Again, I won this through um, another bookstagram giveaway and it is Book of Night by Holly Black. I have zero idea if this is like a trilogy or if it's just a fantasy standalone. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I've had it on my shelf for a little bit. And uh, yeah, I know Holly Black has written books that I've read before and have enjoyed. So yeah, but I'm definitely going to read A Curse So Dark and Lonely before I get into like another fantasy. This next book I've had on my shelf for so, so long. And that is The Wrong Family by Taryn Fisher. I sadly haven't seen the best reviews for this book. And ever since like I've been skewed because let's be honest, I was skewed. 
I just haven't wanted to pick it up, sadly, because I heard it's like not that great. But it's on my shelf and I'm going to read it this year. These next, I believe, six books are all books that I have purchased through Book of the Month. So this next book is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, which was Book of the Month's Book of the Year, which if you're not a book of the month member, a massive perk is that you get their book of the year for free. So yeah, I've heard absolutely nothing but wonderful things about this book. So I will say this book is very, very, very high up on my TBR list. Kicking myself in the foot for this one because I started crying in H Mart months ago and then just kept putting it down so I could start other books. Not because it's bad, but it's just, it's a memoir. So like, for me, like I like to read something like this in addition with other books, but honestly, I, I just need to pick it back up again and like finish it. This next book was my November book of the month pick, but again, I didn't hear the greatest thing, so I didn't get started right away, and that is Claire McIntosh's The Last Party. It says it's the party to end all parties, but not everyone is here to celebrate. Like that sounds intriguing to me, but I just haven't heard the best things, but like I do want to read it. And I'm happy that another thriller is being added to this pile because that is my favorite genre. This next book is probably going to be another February romance read. And that is The Kiss Curse by Erin Sterling, which is the sequel to The X-Hex, I believe. I got this all the way back in October and I'm just like, you know what? Like, I need to read it. But this is a rather thin book. I think I'm going to read this pretty quickly, but it probably will be saved until like the month of Feb. Down to my last three. I think this is a thriller or it might be more of like just a drama. Let's see, an edgy propulsive read about what a family pushed to the brink will do in the name of love and blood. That is The Damage by Caitlin Warer. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I've heard again, nothing but amazing things about this book. I actually got this from a book Resale shop in Chicago's West Loop for eight bucks. So I'm super, super excited to read this one. Love on the Brain. Again, most likely, hopefully another February read. I feel like I've just been like making my February TBR while filming this video. Anyways, I absolutely loved The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. So I'm super excited to read this. I'm sure it's going to be just as cute. I hope I'm saying this last book last tangible book correctly, I should say, Ariadne, Ariadne, I think, Ariadne, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I know like nothing about Greek mythology. I'm going to be honest with you and I'm pretty sure that's what this book is about. This is one of those situations where like I was saying, in order to get book of the month, whoa, free book of the year, I had to choose a um member favorite. So this apparently is a book that a lot of people love. Um, but I had, it's like one of the ones where I was like, okay, like I have to choose a book. So I might as well choose something that a lot of people have liked, um, because I wanted to get this book, but yeah, anyways, I think again, something different, something else that I can pick up in between all of the thrillers that I choose to read and listen to. And the back is super, super simplistic. It just says sister, lover, traitor, and hero. And those are all of the books that I have on my TBR shelf and uh, books that I plan on reading this year in 2023. Some of them I plan on reading sooner than others. Um, but obviously so much more will be added to this TBR. I know Riley Sager's coming out with a new book and Alice Feeney, who if you don't know, she is the best thriller author and my favorite thriller author. So of course I will be reading other books than just these 19, but the goal is to not really contribute much more to the TBR shelf, but to clear it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what's in your TBR for 2023. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys.